Welcome to the Aesthetic Doctor Podcast. We don't shy away and keep secrets here. We empower you with education, telling you the truth about all things aesthetic medicine while encouraging you to be the best version of yourself. It's time to look great and feel good doing it. This is your host, mom, speaker, and board certified physician, Dr. Judith Borger. Hello friends, this is Dr. Borger and welcome to episode six of the Aesthetic Doctor Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about hyaluron pen. I don't know about you, but every time I open my Instagram, I open my Facebook, I get advertisements for these needle-free, quote, fillers, end quote, um, called hyaluron pens, calling hyaluronic acid atomizers, because the spot on the road does them. And so basically, they claim to increase lip volume, to improve the appearance of wrinkles, change the shape of the nose or other similar procedures. I'm basically getting inundated on them. Because it's been so prevalent, I wanted to record this episode really as a word of warning to not use these and to really discuss the risks of the use of the hyaluron pads. So I'm going to basically give you four reasons why you should not use the hyaluron pens and why getting procedure done with them is a bad, bad idea. Number one, hyaluron pens are not approved for, tested for, or meant for dermal fillers. What does that mean? So hyaluron pens are basically needle-free injection devices that were developed to deliver vaccines and medications such as insulin either intramuscularly, meaning into the muscle, or subcutaneously, meaning under the skin, like you would normally inject those medicines with a traditional needle and syringe. They work by creating a very narrow, high-pressure jet of medication that is able to penetrate the skin. This jet is generated using gas or spring pressure to force the medicine through a small opening in a disposable vials. The People that use these devices basically claim that there's lower chances of cross-contamination, reduced needle stick injuries, and less sharp medical waste. You know, this makes sense, obviously, because, you know, this was meant for like rural inoculation campaigns and home self-administration of insulin, which is what these needle-free devices were really delivered for. However... They have never been tested or are not FDA approved for dermal filler. They are meant for specific drugs such as insulin and vaccines. And furthermore, there are studies such as the Jackson and Al vaccine study of 2001, and then it was followed uh, by Simon and All in 2011, that actually found that these needle-free injection devices had a higher rate of pain, redness, and swelling at the injection site versus those that um, received the traditional hypodermic injection. And because they've never been approved for the use of dermal filler, and they've never been tested, you're essentially getting an illegal procedure if somebody uses these for dermal fillers. Second, no licensed professional is doing the procedure. I have talked a lot and I really believe that as a physician or any other licensed practitioner, we go through a lot of training to learn and understand the anatomy, to learn and understand risks and benefits of procedures. So you really come to me for my knowledge, for my expertise, for my decades that I've spent training and continue to train and learn to be the best that I can be. However, you go to the spot on the road to get the hyaluron pens, somebody with entirely no medical training is injecting stuff without a lot of control into your tissues. So you can get damage to the eyes from the pressure of the needle-free devices. You can get ugly results such as formation of lumps in the skin, discolorations of the skin, allergic reactions, scarring, and then really bad things such as the blockage of a blood vessel in the lips um, leading to tissue death, 
called necrosis, blindness or stroke, as well as transmission of diseases between people who use the same needle-free device. Because again, if somebody is doing an illegal procedure who's not a health professional, they're not going to take the same standards and they're not held to the same standards that licensed professionals are. Furthermore, what they're really doing is using prescription drugs and substances without a prescription, which is prohibited, which means that offering to perform these treatments on others and doing that is considered the practice of medicine without a license, which is illegal. Number three, these are unlicensed, quote, dermal fillers, end quote. So when I order an approved product, that is a prescription product and all toxins, all dermal filler, some dermaceuticals are considered prescription product, which means I have to supply my medical license, my DEA license and verify that I'm a licensed practitioner before I can even order that. Seeing that the people that are doing these hyaluron pens aren't medical professionals, they cannot get approved fillers. So what does that mean? They buy some random stuff off the internet. I mean, it's sort of like buying your prescription drugs off the street. You don't know where they come from. You don't know where they were manufactured. The only thing I can tell you for sure is it's not the FDA tested and approved safe dermal fillers that I use because they have no way of buying it. It's sort of like buying your drugs off the street. They are buying something random off the internet. And this filler could very well be contaminated with either bacteria, funguses, or viruses. The filler itself, because it doesn't undergo any quality control, which then goes into your body, or it can be contaminated with other substances or chemicals that you really don't know what you're getting with the random filler X that gets bought off the internet, either from the US or abroad. And then number four, the FDA actually issued a very, very stern warning on October 8th, 2021. And it basically says, do not use needle-free devices for injection of dermal fillers. They are aware that there is serious injuries and permanent harm with the use of these needle-free devices. So their recommendations from the FDA safety communication states, and I'm going to read this, Do not undergo any filler procedure with needle-free devices. Do not buy or use lip or facial fillers sold directly to the public. Do not inject yourself or others with lip and facial fillers using any device. FDA-approved dermal fillers are indicated for prescription use only. The FDA also recommends that if you experience any problems or are concerned after having an injection of a lip or facial filler using a needle-free device, you should seek care from a licensed healthcare provider. And finally, the FDA recommends that if you are considering a filler procedure, talk to a licensed healthcare provider about the procedure using an FDA-approved dermal filler. Dermal filler procedures should only be performed by licensed healthcare providers. Thank you, FDA. Preach. Preach to the choir. So it's become such a problem that there is an FDA warning, there is an FDA ban. So realize that anybody who's advertising or doing these hyaluron pens is doing so illegally. So do not do that procedure. And also, like, don't go to a person or place that would even consider offering something that's illegal and not approved because who knows what else to do. As always, please get the best thing that you can. Go to somebody with experience, expertise, and training and spend the money that you need to spend to have your most beautiful, beautiful outcomes in a safe way. This is my warning about hyaluron pants, and I will see you for the next episode. 
Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the Aesthetic Doctor Podcast with Dr. Judith Borger. We'd love to connect with you outside of the show. Follow Dr. Borger on Instagram at Dr. Borger and find more online and ways to work with Dr. Borger at www.theaestheticdoctor.com. Until next time, be well.